Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am finally moving on with my sex shop stroke brothel project. So if you're new to the channel, this is going to be a very, very adult themed dollhouse project. So the house itself is a shop downstairs. Now this is going to be an adult shop, aka sex shop. And then from this entrance here, going up the stairs, we are going to have some very adult themed rooms. So I started this project last year and it's been on hold since July as I had some technical issues with the footage when I was making the interior cabinets. Um, in previous videos, I have made the sign and the extractor fan, which houses the battery for the entrance to the brothel and I decorated the facade of the building and made my shop name. So when we look inside the actual project, here we have the adult store and then we have the entrance to Aphrodite's brothel and then we have a number of rooms. Now I do have some extra partitions up there so I can make some more rooms uh, theme wise i plan to have a a strip club um, or a bar inside here and then there's going to be a, a number of different rooms with different themes and um, like i say they are all going to be adult themed so um, on the front of the building here uh, i shall also have some little podiums that come up here with some mannequins in the window and some adult themed situation on there but as for the shop this is what i've been working on for a very long time now i originally built these cabinets back in july and then i lost all of the footage and so i've been procrastinating for the last seven months wondering how i was going to get around this i didn't know if i was going to have to rebuild them from scratch and that's something which i didn't want to do because the materials are so expensive and so it's just sat collecting dust for all of this time and then eventually a couple of weeks back i decided to just redecorate what i've already got and just move along with the project so from this point going forward i am going to be working solely on my adult shop so inside the actual house i'd decorated the wall with this very nice um black glitter paper it's the same paper which i use for the sign and then for my cabinets i've lined those with that same material and i have used a gold champagne colored vinyl which matches the sign on the outside so for the lighting i used these led strips which i got from amazon i think they were maybe 20 pounds somewhere around there and I just threaded those along the top and they come with these little extension connector things and it's uh, quite a, a long reel and they're just in this nice warm white colour and they're also on a remote control so um, that's going to make it easy for me to turn them on and off and I just threaded the two wires which run from side to side through the back of the dollhouse up there. I am thinking maybe on the roof having some sort of uh, downlight. So over on this side, there is a connector in there ready for me to do something along the ceiling should I choose to do that. So I will have a till area and there's going to be some fun things all over the walls and all over the shelves. But going forward, this is now the, the only project that I'm going to be doing for a while. So I'm really excited about it. I'm glad to finally be moving ahead with this project because it is, it has been at the back of my mind for quite a while now. So this video is going to be quite short and it is just me showing you how I redecorated the cabinets which I'd already built and basically just to get us up to speed so that we're finally at a point where we can move on. So enjoy. So I'm going to have shelves in here. It's going to be down lighting all the way across here. It's going to be glass shelves. I'm thinking in here I was going to have some sexy mannequins, but now I'm thinking um, 
like stripper stilettos, thigh high boots, all of that stuff. And I think that'll be quite cool. And then all of the drawers are going to be working drawers. So I'll have to finish them tomorrow because I've got to cook tea now, but they'll all be drawers. And I'm going to 3D model some handles to put them in and out. And now we are up to modern day. So originally when I first decorated these, I used a gold metallic cardstock. I didn't really like this, but I knew that I wanted it to be a golden color. One to kind of match in with the with the, the sign name itself, but also as it's quite dark because everything is black, I wanted something that would reflect the light. So I decided to use the mirror card. When I stuck it down, I used double sided tape. So luckily for me, it didn't create too much damage when I peeled off the mirror board. For the lighting strips, on the interior of the cabinet, I designed it to have some slight little notches just so that that tape from the lighting could run smoothly through it. Then for the inside panels, I used this champagne coloured vinyl, which I got from Amazon. I will leave the link for that in the description box. And I'm just mounting it onto some inexpensive chipboard. Once that was all adhered down, I just cut them out using my craft knife. For the interior side of the cabinets and for the, the exterior as well, I used the same cardboard, that glitter board, which I used to paper the walls um, and I just stuck everything down with some book binding glue, which seems to hold it very, very well. Now this cardboard is white backed so I did go around the backside along the edges with a black alcohol marker just to prevent any of that white paper backing showing on any of the edges. I used that same paper to decorate the the top half of the cabinet. So this is the the top boards which I used to hide the lighting. And then to glue the panels in place, I just used that same book binding glue and then gave everything a good burnish with my bone folder. Straight away, I feel like this looks so much nicer than that typical Christmassy gold mirror board which I had previously had. With this vinyl, it is so much softer, so much more sophisticated, and like I say, it really matches the gold which is on the, the door sign. Now, for me to keep the flow of that light shining down i knew from the beginning that i wanted to have glass shelves so i bought this acrylic on amazon again i will leave the link below for that and to score it on both sides of the acrylic i just used a brand new blade in my craft knife and then i ran it down a few times flipped it over scored on the opposite side and then just using pressure from my hands just pushed it back so that it would snap and it gave me a really nice clean cut and then for me to cut them down to size I use my easy cutters um, and they fit perfectly because these are only one inch wide for the shelves to stick down I just used regular matches and I colored them black with some with an alcohol marker and I glued them in place with some B600 is it sorry some b700 glue and then i repeated the process for the rest of the shelves and the bottom shelves and then that's that that is them um, essentially completed i did have to remake my drawers and for the drawers i didn't do them fully out of wood like i did previously and um, for these i made them out of some mat board and the front is some mdf And now it is complete. 
So, like I say, this video is a very small video and it was just to get us up to date so that I can finally move on with the rest of the project. So, I hope you enjoy. I hope that you will stick around and watch the rest of the upcoming videos in this project. And I'll see you soon. Bye.